Hello there everyone, this is the Gutsy Cosplayer. I uh, just thought I'd do something other than cosplay for once. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review on the Body Chan drawing figure. Um, I found this on eBay while I was having a bit of a moot around some drawing supplies, so I picked it up because it looked rather interesting. So, without further ado, I'm going to use my assistant's hand, which is going to be Husky Ninja. Say hello, Husky. Hiya! Right. So, she's going to be my hands because I've got to hold this thing as steady as I can because it's basically rubbish. Okay, so without further ado, Husky, if you would mind opening the box and showing everybody inside how the figure comes. Okay, so as you can see, it comes with instructions, and if you are able to read Japanese, they will come in very handy. I can't, so I've had to wing it. So as you can see, in the middle, just there, you have your figure. Yeah, poseable. Okay, that figure is extremely poseable, and to the left of that, just there, you have two sets of hands, and then in the box at the bottom, I've taken out all of the accessories which were on a sprue, about yay big. And you get things like swords and guns and tablets and phones. We'll show you all that in a minute. Okay, so if you open up the box further, because it does come with a plastic cap on top of it. Yeah, there you go, just drop that to one side. So if you take out the figure itself, now it does come with hands attached. So, okay, so it does come with hands attached. So, when you get it out of the box, yeah, there you see, mine did have hands on it, but I've been using it, so I've took them off. So, if you can take that. Okay, so, just having a look at it, so, you'll see that all of the arms and limbs are very, very poseable. Okay. Yeah. That's it, there we go. So, this is one of our first videos together, so we're having to be a bit of a, a duet here. Okay, so you see like the head moves, the arms move, elbows, wrists when you put the hands on, even the feet and the toes move. So it's very, very articulate, very, very manoeuvrable, and just a lot better, though, I think, than the standard wooded mannequins you get from um, standard art shops. Okay, so we'll drop that in. So if you lift the box up completely, okay, and you'll see there you have multiple sets of hands. So open hands, palms, fists, things that you can hold your weapons with, okay? You even have, <laughs> you even have um, like peace sign hands, spell casting hands, that sort of thing. So just use your imagination on what you can do with that, all right? So let's drop that down. So that button that there, that's just a posing board, I believe. So you can just put your figure on there or you can photograph it um, with that behind so it's got a nice clean background. Okay, so if we open up the little box that comes at the bottom, okay, you can see with the lid, okay, you see the lid's got three holes in it. Those holes will be explained in a minute. So if you pop that down for a second and lift out the box, you'll see that in the box you've got posable stands, okay? These go into the back of the figure and then you can pose it in whatever way, shape and form you like. Okay, so we've got one down. Okay, then next you have another stand which connects to the figure and holds it in different positions depending on what you want. And then you have another one which is just here. This is one of this is like spare, for spare hands, you can use that for spare hands or spare bits. And this one here is one that attaches around the figure's waist. So if you don't want to use the little hole on the back that holds it up, you can use that and it will hold it at the waist for you. Okay? So in there you can see you've got a katana, you've got a tablet computer, a pen, a laptop, a gun, a flip cell phone, and underneath that, a smartphone. Okay, so you get quite a lot of bits for your money. I believe I paid about £23 for this. Now, I've had a go with it, and while Husky Ninja is going to pop that away for me, I will grab the doodles that I did this morning. Now, I posed my figure into what I thought was some sort of like trainee samurai style of character. So that's what I did. I posed it. I basically drew what was there, 
sometimes you might actually find it easier just to photograph your figure so you've actually got a 2d image rather than a 3d model but i did that it took me about maybe 10 minutes just a little quick sketch just to get used to the fact that i was using it so hopefully in the future i should be able to pose it in a little bit better positions maybe do some color in and do some special effects and things like that on there so as the model goes i'm rather impressed for its price now with this you can get the female which i've got you can also get the male which comes with i think slightly bigger hands uh, it comes with the same array of weapons and props and things like that so if you buy both you'll get doubles so if you do happen to lose things which these parts are quite small so you may happen to do that you'll get spares uh, they also come in three colors gray as you can see that i've got they come in black and they come in like a skin slash orange flesh tone okay now in the instruction book as i said it is in japanese so if you can read it great if you can't you can go with it but you can see there the three different colors and the three different figures that you can get all right so i've had a go with it i think it's pretty good obviously for the beginner artist it's going to be very very useful and for the expert or for the more advanced it's a very useful tool so i'd probably rate it very very highly and you can get it on ebay as i saw as i found for about 23 pound uh, you can also get it on various art star websites and art shops and things like that if you if you fish around you can get a good deal on it so that's my review of the body chan figure obviously the male one is the body coon figure and it's pretty good i would i would highly recommend it so i will see you later and Husky Ninja will meet, we'll probably see you later as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't giggle. Right. Um, so right after this, we're going to be doing a quick video on what we've been up to the last couple of weeks and where we're going to be regarding conventions. So back to normal cosplay stuff in the next video. I'll see you soon. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.